Hey guys, it's me, Savannah. So, I already uploaded a video on how to hold your handstand, but I thought that I should do another video that would help you even more than just like putting pressure on your hands. One sec. I'm just gonna up my gun. Well, so, you guys don't know this room. This is our formal living room right outside. You can see our front door and everything. So, a way to hold your handstand is a lot of people do this. They would do a headstand, which I cannot do. This is my headstand. Let's try this. I'm not going to do my headstand again so long. That's my handstand. So the handstand, what you want to do is you don't want your hands right up against the wall. Then you'll be literally, literally can't do anything, and, yeah. Want your hands, like, maybe four or five inches away, and then you really need to kick up hard. See that? If I didn't kick hard, then you come. And if your parents don't like you hitting up against the wall, you might want to do this, like, you might want to, like, put... Like, you can do it on a mattress, like put your mattress up against the wall. Just need something to break, because that's how mine stands. So I'm going to make up the so This is what it'll sound like if you have to put a lot of pressure. And then you just want to sit there. See, I'm like, try not to fall. But. I wasn't even on that one, which really bugged me, so let's try again. Let me try something. This is diagonal. I don't want it diagonal. Yeah, you guys are this camera sitting on a table, so. I'm like, I'm putting a lot of pressure on the back of my hands, and then you just go to rest and sleep. And you can also practice doing the back bend on the wall. So I'm just going to lift you up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Everybody knows the first position to back bend. Put your hands in front of you, and then just go back like that. So how you do it on this is? Put your hands like this. So that was my fault. Put your hands and then walk. And you want to do it a wall where you won't fall down. So a wall like like these, the white ones. I'm doing this on a wood wall, so that's why I fell. And you can also learn how to kick over on the wall. Just go into a basic back bend like this. And then now. You don't want to be too close to the wall. And then feet feet on it. Let me kick over. Like so. So the main thing that like when I going into not going into things, you could also learn how to do a headstand on but I mostly focus on a handstand. Because I can't hold on it. Feet together. And whenever you, whenever you do a handstand, I don't know, but you can just like flip like this. Just like where you want to point your toes. Like in a car wheel, how you guys point my toes. So yeah, point. And if you guys want to get better at point, like for me, this is my point. So all the way to the floor. Almost. And you could like practice going like this, holding it down, trying to straighten your leg. And you can do it turning out to try to get to the floor. Yeah, so like see how like put my toes? And you guys see whenever I go like step, step, step. 
go into a handstand, you can see how I'm always clenching my toes, and how even when I just go like this, I'm pointing my toes. So. Yeah, you just really want to point your toes. Even in a back walkover, you want to point your toes like these. I was never put my toes there because I'm not used to doing it as well. But yeah, I'll show you one more time the handstand thing. And you can see how I'm getting nice and quiet. I hope you guys like this video. Sorry I didn't post one the other day. Like I said, I was in Chicago. I went swimming in Michigan Lake. It was fun. No fish, actually. Didn't feel any fish, but I don't know if there was any fish. But I only went to, like, four feet deep, so. Yeah, I don't have, I didn't get a tan. No tan. So I really hope you guys like this video. Bye.